offering a new deal to Wayne County, hoping that it would fix their jail problem. So the way it would work is Gilbert's company would build not just a new jail, but a whole new criminal complex up the road, and the county gives up the property of the failed jail site on Gratiot. Jason Colthorpe is live to break it down further for us. Jason? And Kim, there's some numbers to break down here. Let's start with $420 million. That's how much Dan Gilbert and his group says it'll cost them to build that criminal justice complex, but they're willing to do it for just the $300 million that the county was planning to spend on a new jail. Is this a deal that's too good to be true? Is there a catch? At least one county commissioner telling me tonight he's not buying it. The offer is this. Dan Gilbert's company, Rock Ventures, will build Wayne County a new criminal justice complex, both an adult and a juvenile jail and a criminal courthouse. All new, all consolidated, and all for the same $300 million Wayne County was going to spend on the new jail and to renovate Frank Murphy, the current courthouse. In exchange, the county would give the land on Gratiot to Gilbert and Tom Gores for a potential $1 billion development that would include a major league soccer stadium. The new criminal justice complex would be built on East Forest Avenue, just off I-75. Wayne County tonight confirms to us it received a proposal as an alternative to completing the jail on Gratiot and says we will withhold further comment on the offer until we've had an opportunity to review it. But Wayne County Commissioner Ray Basham isn't withholding anything. He's against it. He tells me tonight this is not a win-win. It's a win for Dan Gilbert, but a loss for county taxpayers. He says the best thing for the county to do right now would be to finish what it started with the jail and renovating Frank Murphy. And he's confident most of the other 14 commissioners agree with him on that. Of course, we'll have to wait and see what Executive Warren Evans thinks about all of this. We expect to hear about that as, as Wayne County ends up looking at this deal. I do get the sense, though, that uh, commissioners are not happy that this whole thing is playing out in the media. We're live downtown tonight. Jason Coulthorpe, local. All right, much more in the days to come, Jason. Thank you.